actually uh, today topic we are going to discuss types of input quantity and characteristics of instrument so what are the different types of input quantities we have the types of input quantities are classified into two the first one is static the another one is dynamic what is static what is dynamic static in the sense it is not varying with time there is no time factor involved but dynamic it is not so if there is a varying time then it is comes under dynamic whatever the activity we are doing daily so we are all in dynamic nature we are not a static nature while you are talking dynamic there are two things one is steady state periodic and non repetitive that is also call it as a transient steady state periodic in the sense it's like the graph when you are looking at the graph you all know sinusoidal signal if the sinusoidal signal it vary with the time and it consisting of a periodic that means there is a uniform distribution of the signal from the initial point to the end point so that is periodic but it is not so initially it is start increasing and it make it into the constant then it is transient okay so this is what dynamic signal so generally the unchanging static measurement is the mostly easily measurable one but while you are going for dynamic we can't able to measure so this is what the previous class we have studied measurement system the first stage you have a sensor transducer and the second stage signal conditioning and the third stage recording so here i have taken as an example is your accelerometer so this is what the sensor transducer part then for signal conditioning you are having three things filter integrating amplifier you just look at the graph the first graph you are having so many variation this is what we used to call it as a periodic signal then these periodic are in call it as an interference so this signal what are we are getting out from accelerometer with a noise so i want to eliminate the noise i am going filter section so after the filter you are having the signal and the signal the noise is getting removed then it is getting into integrating unit integrating circuit is what you are integrating circuit is consisting of a capacitor so this capacitor what it used to do it reduce the noise so you are getting like a smooth and curve then the signal is very low so just to increasing the say strength of the signal we are just going into amplifier so the amplifier will strengthening the signal finally it getting into acquisition data acquisition computer this is what your presentation part you take call it as an recorder finally that signal is getting into your printer part so this printer is what your data recording so either you can go for printer or you can go for any pointer along with the scale so while you are looking that measurement system we could see there is a signal right the signal is both analog and digital so you should know the difference between analog and digital what is analog analog which is nothing but it vary with time in a continuous manner over a range of magnitude example is your automobile devices in automobile the speed of your meter it like it start from zero then finally it ended right but during the motion your uh, device which consists of a pointer over there so if your analog device in the sense it is nothing but it consists of a pointer it vary with time in a continuous manner over a range of magnitude but it digital it's not so there are only two things either it is on off or it is low to high low means the signal is zero high means the signal is one only two distinct magnitudes you can able to measure while you are going for digital signal 
so when you are talking static characteristics the definition is what the measured thing is not changing with time that is what static characteristics so what are all the static characteristics we have accuracy precision sensitivity linearity resolution threshold hysteresis dead zone repeatability reproducibility range span these are all the things where comes under static characteristics what is the meaning of range as well as span range and span which is nothing but the range of an instrument means it has only two values that is minimum and the maximum span is also same but what is the difference between both span the sense it is nothing but the difference between maximum to minimum like if i am just going to read a micrometer measuring the value is 0 to 50 mm so the people used to ask what is the range of the instrument so the range of the instrument we can tell like that 0 to 50 but the span is not so the span is nothing but the difference between maximum to lowest one that means 50 minus 0 so what will be the value 50 so that 50 is call it as an span there is no time varying factor so these two things where comes under static the next one is accuracy what is accuracy from the figure you can just look at the arrow is striking on the target point the mid portion it is not coming actually when you are looking the circle there are like uh, uh, when you are uh, calculating there are 1 2 3 4 5 circles are there but the arrow is striking on your target point that is what accuracy so accuracy of an instrument is a measure of how close the measured value of the instrument to the true value so how it is closer to your true value that is what accuracy so just look at those two diagrams the target point is high accuracy if it is not targeting toward then it is called as an low accuracy so closeness to the true value we can call it as an accuracy then precision what is precision precision means it is nothing but i am just targeting the point the red point but the target towards this red color one going on i am repeating 1 2 3 4 likewise i am just going on repeating but my target is i have to reach the red point while i am calculating the fifth portion if it is goes the next circle if it goes sixth point another circle then it is not a precision so how many times you are going to take the value but the target should be achieved so precision which is nothing but the ability of measuring instrument repeated application repeated response you can go but whatever the responses you are going to make i am supposed to have the same value that is my closeness to the true value but i am not going to have a true so you just look at the diagram for the first one how many repetitions i have done nine repetition so nine red points over there but it is all closer to my targeted point so high accuracy high precision i am getting but the next circle nine times i am repeating but for each dot there is a deviation so my precision is low so you should have a, a clarity accuracy and the precision just look at the last diagram this is accurate and precise the targeted point i have achieved the true value this is closeness to the particular thing and moreover how many times i have repeated six times i have repeated but i am getting the precise one but when you are looking at the second diagram it is not so the first one it is also not so so third one is pakka so what is the difference while you are calculating the accuracy and the precision accuracy is closeness with the true value precision is reproducibility of the measurements but accuracy can improve but precision we can't able to improve the value accuracy depends upon a techniques of analysis but precision is depends on many factor because there are so many techniques we have to go for analysis point of view accuracy is necessary but it is not sufficient for precision but precision is sufficient necessary it's not a sufficient condition for accuracy what is sensitivity 
So you can just see the dial. Sensitivity means what? There is a small change, but it shows a large difference. Definition for sensitivity, which is nothing but the relationship between a change in output reading for a given change of input. I am just going to give a small change of input, but I am getting a drastic output. That is, there is a change in the output. So, if the instrument with a large sensitivity, then it will indicate a large movement of indicator for a small input. So, sensitivity, we can able to calculate the rate of change of output to rate of change of input. That is the another way of measuring the sensitivity. So, you have to calculate output, you have to calculate the input and you can able to identify the deviation between those two values. Then what is linearity? Linearity is nothing but the output and the input both are proportional to each other. So most of the instruments are specified to function over a particular range. Then your instrument is called as a linear. If it is not proportionally varying, then it is comes under non-linear. You can just look at the graph in the mid portion. There is a red line. There is a proportional change. This is what we used to call it as an linear. What is resolution? So resolution is what? You all having your mobile phone, you are taking photos, right? But while you are taking photos, the main thing is clarity. So if a particular mobile is consisting of the pixel, the resolution is pakka, you will get a good picture, right? So this is nothing but a smallest increment. You just look at the picture. The first picture is looking nice, but the second one is it is not uh, that much uh, look in the first one. That is only because of the resolution. So resolution is nothing but the pixels. Pixel means what? Picture elements. So the picture elements, it is in the form of array. Resolution is nothing but the smallest input increment change that gives a small. But it, big, it shows a biggest change. What is threshold? Threshold means whatever the minimum value below which no output change. You can't able to observe. You can able to observe only after a few time later. That is what threshold. The instrument input is very gradually increased from zero. There will be a minimum value required to give a detectable output change. You can just look at the graph. There is a deviation in the graph. But we can't able to predict. The initial point, the red line shows there is a change. But you can't able to identify the thing. That is what your threshold. Then dead zone. Dead zone means what? Dead zone is the range of input value. There is a proportional change. After that, there is a straight line. So in the straight line, what is, the happen what is happening? There is no change happening in your output. So, but that particular change is your dead zone point. So, there is no change in the output. So, that is only because of maybe like if your instrument is not working or the instrument shows some friction or your instrument has some backlash effect. So, only because of that dead zone is occur. Then what is reliability? So, reliability in the sense it is nothing but a possibility of an instrument will perform for an assigned function for a given specific period of time. So the reliability of a device affected not only the choice of the part but it was also because of the manufacturing. What is calibration? The calibration is nothing but the comparison of the calibrated instrument. So it's a process of establishing the reliability of measuring instrument. So, while you are going for calibration, there are so many methods, primary and secondary. Primary in the sense, it is nothing but just like one standard resistor or a standard cell, what you are going to measure. Secondary in the sense, whatever the instrument you are calibrated through industry or in a laboratory point. That is what your secondary calibration. So, once the primary is over, then getting into secondary. That is what happening in the Secondary calibration methods. So what is 